Hi, I'm DJ Storm. I'm a drum and bass DJ from England, um, associated with the Metalheads label. Um, and I'm here in Bulgaria, ready to play tonight. I moved from Oxford to London and um, in 89. And there was this kind of summer of love that was going on and um, Kemi, the, my best friend, she'd moved from Sheffield down to London at the same time. Just so happened she got a flat a couple of weeks before I moved down and I moved in to, with her and she told me about this music that she'd been listening to and I'd been stuck in Oxford where it was a much more commercial kind of vibe and I hadn't really discovered this electronic music and I just thought, mm, electronic music, I'm... I, classically trained musician so I don't really want to know about electronic music so I decided that I would give it a listen and I would go to one of these events and I just got hooked like that so the next minute me and Kemi were buying records and we thought why are we buying records you know what is it about this music we were listening to pirate radio stations didn't watch the television for about four months we're just listening to this music and we thought well it's obvious we are obsessed with this music so how can we be with this music in our lives totally? Either one, we make tracks, which we can't do because we don't have equipment, or two, we become DJs. So then Kemi met Goldie, and Goldie we got into the music as well, pretty much turned on the same way we were turned on, like pretty much overnight, and he was like, I want to make this music. So we had this dream, okay, we'll be these famous DJs who play your music, and you'll become this famous producer. And we just kind of lived the dream. We dreamed that we'd have a label and, you know, we'd have a club and we'd have our own merchandising. And we've just carried on all the steps of the dream, really, and still living it today, really. I was at a college, College of Radiography. Mm. I, no, I couldn't imagine it. I mean, who knows? I think maybe I might have been married, had children that kind of thing, you know, gone up in my profession, but I kind of always knew there was something else somewhere, you know what I mean? And when I discovered the music, it was like, even though I had to keep my job on for quite a few years before I could, you know, go out there and kind of become self-sufficient as a DJ, you know? I had to keep both jobs going, and that was kind of hard, radiographer by day, DJ by night, do you know what I mean? So um, about after three and a half years, I was able to give the radiography up and just concentrate on drum and bass. <laughs> You know, when I think about myself, my mum and dad were playing me music. I mean, my mum used to sing to me all the time. My mum and dad were playing me music from a baby, you know, and they used to collect vinyl. So that's what I thought was just a natural thing, collecting vinyl. So I, I think if you've grown up kind of from my era, vinyl was something that you collected, you know what I mean? And I've just progressed that really. <laughs> I love DJing, I'm obsessed with DJing, mixing. I think DJing is a true art form. It is the greatest job in the world. I can't think of anything I would want to do or, you know, number one, I'm with music all the time and I think music is one of the most universal healers and one, it's the universal language of the world. Each DJ is individual and um, I think that's the excitement is to see what each DJ is going to create and I kind of feel that DJing at the moment is like it's a live mix you're doing something live whereas you had a band before now you've got a DJ being the entertainer and you want to just make it as interesting as possible and I think you want to make the set as dramatic as possible and and also take your crowd on a, a journey that's understandable as well because I think any good DJ that you hear it doesn't matter what music they're playing if they make their music understandable to you and take you on the right journey you can listen to any DJ that's good <laughs>
drum and bass, um, to put it in a, you know, not a nice way, but, you know, I mean it in a good way, is the bastard of all musics. It really is. We took from everything. We plundered every kind of music. I mean, it grew up from techno and house, and then we gave it a bass line, which became kind of a reggae doubled up bass line, which is where you got the term jungle from. So that was totally different now. Nobody was mixing kind of techno and house together and then throwing a big bass line underneath it. So I suppose drum and bass evolved from all different kinds of music. And that's what I'm saying is interesting about the world because some of from Japan, who's brought up on different music, will bring something different when they make a track. Someone from Germany, who's brought up again on different music, will bring something else. So I think what I think about drum and bass, it's like you're all welcome. Everybody's welcome. And if you want to come and join in, you kind of can. Even with still a little bit of money, you can you can make a track on your computer these days, you know? And and people are. And it's kind of bringing everybody together. And I think the other thing is the internet. It's great. It's, it's almost like the internet is the new pirate radio show. You know, you can't have pirate radio shows anymore. And a lot of countries were never allowed to have them. But in England, that's really how drum and bass came through, through the pirate radio shows. Because it was there 24-7, you just turn the dial. There was... 20 radio drum and bass shows, you know what I mean? So that's the way it's kind of come through and I think the internet has done that for the rest of the world. Forever. Drum and bass will be, for, I mean, you know, what will happen eventually is that drum and bass will take over the world and there'll be world peace. And that's, that's what I'm thinking, maybe 10 years time. <laughs>